tutorial about how to activate and set up, configure properly the dynamic uh, content plugin for WordPress. So this is going to assume that you've already uploaded the plugin into the correct directory or installed it through the uh, add new plugin menu. First we need to activate the plugin. If I scroll down in the list here, the uh, dynamic content gallery is the one we're going to use. Uh, featured content gallery does not work with WordPress multi-user so we are stuck with this one. So when you activate the plugin, um, you'll see it's been activated. Next we need to go and configure some settings within that plugin. Uh, first of all, if your theme isn't already configured for this plugin, you're going to have to add this code into your theme file wherever you want the, the plugin to show up. So I'm using just a, uh, a FTP-like editor and I'm going to edit my home page and I have a spot here where I want to put the plugin. So I'm just going to paste that in and save my file. Now that that's done, we should already, um, if we go back to our page that this is going into, you'll see there's nothing here to begin with right now. But if we refresh, um, you'll see that the plugin is now got a little placeholder here. But we need to make that uh, fit properly and start showing images. So let's go back to the plugin configuration. Uh, we're going to skip by this part for now and we're going to go to the gallery width and that's the main setting I'm interested in right now and I already know that a good width right now is 585 for this website so I'm just going to go ahead and, and use that width but you might have to play around with this to get it to look exactly right so if I refresh you'll see now it's adjusted to fill up the whole space that we have here for it but there's still no images in it so that's something we have to do Going back to the configuration, um, in order to set up images to be used, we're actually going to have to go dynamic uh, content gallery plugin requires you to pick uh, images from posts for each slot. So you have five slots and you can tell uh, each slot which category to pull from and within each category you can set the post offset. So if we did all the same category we'd want to offset these one, two, three four or five so that it, it uh, picks different images for each and it's not always picking the first one from that post category. So I'm going to do that right now. We still don't have it set up to use the right categories but that's fine we'll get to that. First we need to upload some images to use so if we go down to media, add new, I'm going to select the files and I have a few three different files that I want to use right now. So it's uploading all these files and finally it's done and we're going to save the changes. So you'll see these files in here now and I named them all pretty easily so that I wouldn't have to keep coming back in here to figure out the URL to them. But the important thing now um, is for us to go in, find the URL of the image that we just uploaded and you'll see that here. We need to copy that and we're going to keep that on our clipboard for later. Um, our next step is we need to create a category um, for these featured content posts and I'm just going to call it featured content. Now you can use any, any categories you want, it's just important that you know which those are and uh, we're going to, as soon as we create it, we're going to figure out what category ID it is. So if I go to edit now, you'll see in the top on the URL there's a, a cat ID. This is the number we're interested in, so it's 99. So now if we go back to the, the dynamic content gallery plugin setup, um, this is where we put that category number. So I'm gonna I want all the slots to be filled up from posts within that category. Um, like I said, you could use different categories if you want, but I'm I'm gonna have them all in anything in the featured content category gets put on the front page. It makes it a little bit easier to uh, manage from a user perspective what's going in that featured content section. Um, I don't think I clicked save, so we'll have to do that first. So now that that's saved, 
<clears throat> our next step now that we have a category to post in we're gonna have to make a new post um, we'll give it a title featured content number one we can give it uh, an excerpt if we want and post body now uh, we will need to make sure that we pick the featured content category so it's assigned to that category um, we're gonna have to come back and add some custom fields and that's how it knows which image to use for, for each post but I'll show you where to get that from in a second so this post is saved um, now if we go back to our page here and reload it we should have one post coming in here but it's not going to have an image yet and I'm not sure I don't think it's going to pop up a title or anything just because there's no image to go with it yet so if we go back to our plugin configuration we'll see up here it tells us what to do so these are two custom fields that this plugin is expecting to see in post content so the dfcg dash image is what where we're going to put that uh, url to the image that we uploaded that we have copied onto our clipboard right now and the description uh, will you'll see where it pops up but we can add a, a little description for the featured content underneath the title that gets displayed so let's remember those keys and i'm going to go edit that post we made and put those in so it's dfcg dash image And again, we have it on our clipboard right now, so I'm just going to paste that URL in, and that's to our, our image there. Now, like I said, we can also put in the description. So I'm going to add that as well. Update my post. And now if we go back and refresh we see our image come up and now you see the title of the post come up here and finally that little uh, description that we added as a custom field as well so that's great we have one image up there now with its information but now we need to uh, add our, the rest of them again choose the category and the nice thing is once you've already used those fields somewhere else they're uh, available in a drop down so you don't necessarily have to remember it now remember how I named my files kind of easily I named it 101 and 02 and 03 so I'm just gonna paste and change that manually you might have to go back and figure out what the URL of the image you want to use is so we've added our second post and now again if we refresh should be loading our images I'm not sure why it's not right now let me refresh again quick just in case Anyways, you get the idea. It's uh, 
Oh, you know what? I think this image is actually a JPEG, not a, a GIF. So little uh, things here and there to be aware of. So it probably tried loading those images, but it couldn't do it because it couldn't find that second one. Here we go. So there's my second image, my first image, and it will, it should auto rotate between them. There we go. So there you have it. You can keep adding more images. Um, like I said, you can have five different slots, and uh, that's how you set up the plugin. And that's all there is to it.